All right, we're going to go ahead and talk about unit rates. Okay, what a unit rate is, is what the cost of one thing is. So if I were to go to a store and buy 12 pencils for 60 cents, what would the unit rate be per pencil? What would the cost of one pencil be? Okay, so this is how we would solve unit rates. Okay, so we would write it as kind of like a fraction. Um, so I bought 12 pencils over the cost. I bought 12 pencils for 60 cents. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and create a second fraction in which we have one pencil. Okay, that's the unit rate, one, the cost of one. Okay, so 12 pencils Okay, well, I went from 12 pencils to one pencil. I'm going to divide by 12. 12 divided by 12, that gives me the 1. Okay, and remember, we're pretty much making an equivalent fraction at this point in time. So in order to do that, if I divide this by 12, I also have to divide that by 12. Okay, so 60 cents divided by 12, well, that's 5. Okay, the cost of one pencil is 5 cents. All right, let's do another example. Okay, and you use unit rates a lot with like money. Um, you, you know, a lot of times, like if your parents go to the grocery store and they're trying to decide, okay, what's a better buy? Buying six for this much or just buying one, you know, each of them individually. Okay, those are all factoring in unit rates to see what the better um, deal is. And we're going to do something like that in just a second. Okay, let's find the unit rate. We have three oranges. I'm going to the store buying a pack of three oranges. $2.16. Okay, so what is the unit rate per orange? Well, let's go ahead and do the one orange over there. Okay, so to go from the three oranges to the one orange, I'm going to divide by three. Again, we're making an equivalent fraction. Okay, then I got to divide that by three. Okay, so the cost of one orange is whatever $2.16 divided by three is. So $2.16 divided by 3, 3 goes into 21, 7 times, bring 6 down, 3 goes into 6, 2. So it is 72 cents per orange. The unit rate per one orange is 72 cents. All right, now let's go back to one of those other one of those examples where I said you may need to use unit rate to decide what is the better deal. Okay, so say I go to the store and I'm gonna buy. Okay, I have the option. I can buy 16 ounces of crackers for two dollars and thirty nine cents. Or I could buy 20 ounces. for $3.19, okay? Now, and if I'm a savvy shopper, I want to, or a savvy shopper, I want to be smart and try to get the most for my money, I want to get the best deal possible, is I need to figure out the unit rate, which is, which am I paying less per ounce? Um, which deal is gonna give me the less per, um, the less cost per ounce? So we need to find the unit rate for each one of them, okay? So I can get 16 ounces for $2.39. Okay, well, I want to figure out what the cost is per one ounce. How I do that? Well, I'm going to divide that by 16 because it's 16 ounces. That means I've got to divide the $2.39 by 16. Okay, now I hope you're pretty good at dividing decimals because you're going to need that a lot in this lesson. Okay, 16 goes into 20 through one time. Okay, 16 goes into 79. Well, I know 16 times 5 is 80, so it's going to be 4. 4 times 16 is 64. Oops, this one. Got to annex a 0, bring it down. 16 goes into 150. Well, I know 16 times 10 is 160, so it's going to be 9 times. And that would be 160 minus 16. 144. Oh, that's six. Got to annex another zero. Zero. 16 goes into 60, not evenly, unfortunately, um, three times. 
3 times 16 is 48. And 12. Annex another 0. All right, I'm going to go ahead and stop there for now. Um, I think this, basically, this is telling me what percent of a dollar it is. So basically, that means the cost is 14 point nine three and then some cents okay so I'm gonna leave it there like this for now and I'm gonna work this out and chances are I probably don't need to keep going to figure out which is the better deal so let's go ahead and work this one so 20 ounces for three dollars and 19 cents okay so the cost of one ounce well again I divide by 20 so that means I have to divide $3.19 by 20. So again, got to do my handy dandy division with decimals. Okay, that's going to be 1. Same thing with 9. That's going to be 5. Okay, that's going to be 9. I think this one's going to end. And five. All right, so now, yeah, I didn't need to keep going because I've got pretty different numbers. I hope you can see this. So with this one, the cost of one ounce is 15.95 cents. All right, so that's the cost of one ounce if I get this deal, okay? If I do this deal, it's going to be the cost for one ounce is going to be 14 point ninety three cents okay this is cents we're talking about now that should go in the back that looks funny cents all right so now that I've got those two numbers up okay well which is a better deal same thing I'm gonna pay 14 cents I'm just a little just a little um, under 15 cents for this one so 14.93 cents or I can go over here and pay 15.95 cents Okay, this one's almost a whole cent cheaper, so this is the better deal. Okay, let me go ahead and work out one more. These can be tricky, and it seems like a lot of division and working out you have to do just to decide, oh, that's the better deal, but that's how you do it. Okay, let's do one more example from the book. So I'm going to buy some juice. I'm going to get 48 ounces or fluid ounces for two dollars and seven cents or I could buy 32 ounces for a dollar sixty four all right so let's figure out which is the better deal we need to find the unit rate per ounce for each one of these each of these deals. So, well, we're going to have one ounce over here, which means I have to divide by 48 and also divide this by 48. I can already tell this probably isn't going to work out very evenly. Um, so $2.07 divided by 48. Clean that decimal up. All right, well, then going to 2, then going to 20, it goes into 207 four times, so put a zero there because it doesn't go into 20, so it's going to go four times, 48, 192, 5, okay, and the index is zero, 48 goes into 150, you know, and how I'm thinking this in my head is 48 is pretty close to 50. So I'm going to work with 50 as I'm estimating, okay? So I know 50 goes into 153 times. Well, I know 48 is a little less than 50, so it's going to be 3. Okay, 48 times 3. 144. And 6, and it's another 0. All right, and we're going to do the 1. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Okay, because right now I'm at just over about 4 cents, 4.31 cents per ounce. Okay, I'm going to stop there. So let's go over and work over this one. Um, so again, we've got to figure out the cost per ounce. So I'm going to divide this by 32. 
Now I've got to divide this by 32. Okay, so I'm going to do a dollar 64 divided by 32. Let me remove this because I'm not sure if you can see that. Okay, so again, work it out. 32 doesn't go into 1, 32 doesn't go into 16, 32 does go into 164. Now, about how many times? Let's try six. And I'm 60. Again, it says zero, bring it down, 32. Oops, I almost forgot to put the five up there. And then, and it says zero, give me a one. Well, right off the bat, as I'm comparing, I really don't ever even necessarily need to go, um, don't even necessarily need to go further because I already see that, well, this is gonna be a little over five cents per ounce, or this one's a little over four cents per ounce. So which one am I paying less per ounce? Which one's the better deal for me? It would be this one, and that would be my answer. All right, so good luck.